What is going on YouTube? What is going on Kansas City? And what is going on amazing people of YouTube? And welcome to the Beat of KC. I have something absolutely, absolutely special for you today. You know, it is definitely on the speculative side, but I keep seeing a little bit more start to pop up on social media. Obviously, we're aware the Atlanta Falcons potentially could be moving on from their absolute monster of a receiver in Julio Jones, number 11, who came to them in the draft from Alabama. You know, Julio Jones has been a very, very special player in the NFL, and there are a ton of players that will tell you Julio Jones is the best receiver in the NFL. You know, they're in it. They're day in and day out dealing with Julio Jones. So, you know, if they're saying it, I believe him 100%. So if you're interested in talking a little bit of trade, if you're interested in hearing about potentially Julio Jones coming to the Kansas City Chiefs, I suggest you stay tuned right after this. And trust me, you do not want to miss this. But before we dive in and talk about the potential of number 11 coming to the Kansas City Chiefs, I ask that you guys smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, comment down below, please comment down below because this is going to get exciting and I can tell you, let's get into the video. Ladies and gentlemen, if you've watched football in the last decade, you are 100% aware of Julio Jones, but let's pretend that you have no idea who Julio Jones is. Just know that he is by far one of the best. If not, you know, the NFL players will tell you he is the best receiver out there from just a freakish athletic, you know, everything that he is capable of doing, going up and getting balls, running routes. I mean, it's just elite of the elite. And Julio Jones is a very, very prized receiver. I think he brings a lot more to obviously the receiver position than just the skill set. I think he brings a, a personality. I think he brings a go-getter mentality. I think he brings some of those things that I've talked about multiple times that you can't teach a football player because they are hungry, ladies and gentlemen. They want it and they go and get it. And, then, and Julio Jones is definitely an example of that. Some of the things we're going to talk about 100% in this is that there is a chance the Kansas City Chiefs could go trade for Julio Jones. We're going to talk about some of the potential of what it could take to get Julio Jones. I'm going to talk about his current contract situation, why I think some things died down, and why I think some things are starting to heat back up. And I'm really looking forward to just talking about Julio Jones as a player. I mean, you're going to see some highlights that really are shock and awe, and your jaw is going to hit the ground because Julio Jones is that guy. So here we go, right out the gate, we're going to talk about his contract. I had to go back all the way to September 12th of 2019. Field Yates dropped an absolute amazing piece of information on Twitter, and that was the Julio Jones breakdown when he signed his extension. So a signing bonus of $25 million was issued to Julio Jones. 2019 base salary is $1.5 million. 2020 base salary is $11.2 million. 2020 option bonus is $11 million. Base salary in 2021 was $15.3 million. 2022 base salary is $11.513 million. 2023 is an option year and base salary again is going to be 11.513 million. It says 2019 to 2021 base salaries and option bonus are fully guaranteed. So as we can see right here, this contract ideally was backloaded. Um, and I think a lot more contracts are starting to be like that. Uh, uh, we're aware that, you know, TV deals are about to come up and the, and the salary cap we expect to really just kind of go in the upward direction. So it makes sense to some degree why this was backloaded. I think it also really shows that Julio Jones needed to go out and get it. And <laughs> he definitely went out and got it. So then I found another tweet. And this is from Kevin Moses. I have to give you mad props, my friend. Uh, he goes ahead, go aheads and talks about the potential trade aspect and why we were originally hearing a ton of rumors and why they kind of cooled off and why I think more and more are starting to pick back up. And the reason is, is because he says, here is the contract. Pay attention to the guaranteed money in parentheses, which we talked about coming from Field Yates' tweet back in September of 2019. It says, trading Julio Jones after June 1st 
Falcons dead cap goes in 2021 from 7.75. They say save 15.3 million. And if in 2022 uh, it's 15.5 million, they save 3.7 million. It says the new team that acquires Julio Jones would get a 2021 15.3 million guaranteed contract. In 2022, they would get 11.5 million, but only 2 million of that is guaranteed. And then 2023 is 11.5 million. So as you guys can see, the tremendous difference if they wait till post June 1 of this year, um, you know that's probably why the the Falcons are going to go ahead and if they do tr- trade him, it'll be after you know June 1 because they will have saved 15.3 million. Um, and, and that's an absolute tremendous amount. I think that that is significant because we understand Matt Ryan, Matty Ice is still on the books making a ton of money. And, you know, there was a ton of speculation going into this year's draft. What do the Atlanta Falcons do? Do they go out there? Do they draft a quarterback to replace Matty Ice? Or as they ended up doing, a lot of people speculated that they would be taking Kyle Pitts, the tight end slash receiver. I'm going to go ahead and say slash receiver because he is an absolute monster at the receiver slash tight end position. You know, I do feel that he was definitely going to come home to the Atlanta Falcons, and he most definitely did, which also helps assure that there's a good chance Julio Jones could be on the way out just due to his money situation in his contract. So now what we're going to do is kind of talk about where Julio Jones has ranked from a pro football focus kind of perspective going into 2021 into 2022. So here we go. It says Julio Jones career stats. And again, this is from a pro football focus type perspective. He is a 95.2 pro football focus grade, which is number one overall. He has 113 receptions on 20 plus yards throws, which is first overall. He is 58 games with 100 plus receiving yards, which is first overall. Those are some very, very good statistics, especially when you look at it from a big picture of how many and who are receivers in the NFL currently. Absolutely, absolutely incredible. Now, one of the things I do want to focus on is the fact that Pro Football Focus has talked about they are listening to trades, trade offers for Julio Jones. And this is according to Peter King, Albert Breer, and Rap Sheet. So, you know, Jones has a 95.2 career Pro Football Focus grade, which again is first overall when it comes to receivers. So I have seen some hypothetical trades from a overall NFL perspective, maybe some ideas people think that, you know, it's going to, what it's going to take to get and acquire Julio Jones. And and so that is going to be the Falcons receive a 2022 second round pick, a 2022 fourth round pick, a 2022 fifth round pick. The Titans, because this is who this example is with, would receive Julio Jones and a 2022 fifth round pick. So then that leads me to Kansas City Chiefs. And, you know, I've seen Uh, a few trade scenarios. Um, I really like Philip Magruder's here. He said trade scenario Chiefs send a third rounder in 2022 and a second rounder in 2023 in exchange for Falcons receiver Julio Jones in a 2022 uh, fifth round pick. Excuse me. I do think it would take just a little bit more. I I understand that the Falcons realize that they're probably not going to get the full amount of trade that they want unless a team is just that desperate for Julio Jones, which Rightfully so. I mean, I just gave you examples of why he is one of the most, if not the most elite receivers. Um, So I can understand paying a little bit more. But ladies and gentlemen, I do think it might take a little bit more to get Julio Jones from the Atlanta Falcons. But I like the initial blueprint here for that. Um, You know, what Julio Jones provides the Kansas City Chiefs. He immediately comes in and is filling that spot to be a receiver. And, you know, I think he's personally, personally pushing to be your number one receiver. Uh, he is aging. He's going to be 30. I think he is 32, going to be 33 years old. Uh, you know, Tyree Kill has obviously been a Kansas City Chief since he was drafted. But Julio Jones is coming in. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, that's Julio Jones. So, yes, he may be considered your two. But in all honesty, you have two ones out there roaming the field for Patrick Mahomes. I mean, if you really break this down, you would have Tyree Kill. You would have Travis Kelsey. You would have Julio Jones. You would have Clyde Edwards-Hilaire in the backfield. You would have Patrick Mahomes throw into all these weapons. 
On top of that, you would have depth at the receiver position with Cornell Powell, who we just drafted, Demarcus Robinson, Byron Pringle, Miko Hardman, and then obviously the rest that is kind of scattered in there. Also, when it comes to backup tight end, you have Noah Gray. And when it comes to running backs, you have Daryl Williams. And you also have, you know, a few other options there with Jarek McKinnon, who was recently signed. I'm ecstatic for this potential. I like just the speculation. It really does start getting your, you know, juices flowing when it comes to a potential trade. And you really start to think, what would it take to get Julio Jones in a Chiefs uniform? And I think this needs to happen. appreciate you swinging by and checking out this video on a potential trade for Julio Jones to the Kansas City Chiefs. I tell you, it would be absolutely, absolutely exciting. I could tell you the Chiefs kingdom would absolutely erupt and it would be just absolute chaos and fandom would just be running throughout the streets of Kansas City in excitement. Just absolutely, absolutely exciting. Again, I do appreciate you swinging by, checking out this video, and I appreciate you swinging by and checking out the beat of KC. And as always, have a good day.